Hey Internet, hey YouTube, this is Nate. You can also call me Nathan, please never call me Nathaniel. Welcome back to Vampire Survivors. This was the first stream after the most recent patch went live. And I wanted to do a kind of exploration of a full projectile speed build. <laughs> Xbox notifying me. Um, kind of fun with the, with the new character, uh, uh, Giovanni or Giovanna. She uh, gets extra projectile speed for every level, uh, an extra 1%. So we went for like all the projectile speed based weapons, got the projectile speed based um, bracer and the projectile speed based arcana. So just really full on projectile speed. Gets kind of fun, kind of wild, really enjoyed this. And if you enjoyed it as well, please give this a like, subscribe. And without further ado, here is the clip. Excuse me, could you please move? Thank you. Here comes the cats. You guys ready? Cats. Cats are coming. <laughs> Do you get damaged by the cats? Gun. Uh, I don't get damaged by the cats, no. We're only taking crit weapons. Candle Labrador. We're gonna need it anyway. It is a massive AoE. We had two there. We had knives and we had... Uh, Knives and we had uh, whip. Yep. Wait, you have knives now? I do. We're gonna be able to get uh, the knife bracer upgrade later. That's the other gun. All crit stuff. So yeah, look at this. You see this? We're getting 50 hit crits with the with the knives. So the crit damage is doubled, and things crit earlier than normal. Can you explain this abilities and their? Can someone grab the person spazzing out, please? Or Scary Cloud, do you mind? Um, New Arcana is considered coward strats for these challenges? Probably. Probably. No, it's fine. I can grab it. I'll grab it. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Sorry, how's but No, no, no worries. I was about to grab it anyway. <laughs> You don't expect to. You don't expect someone to just freak out on their keyboard. Yeah. Just clean his keyboard. <laughs> Why'd you get? There's a spooky daddy. You're not a spooky. I know. Oh, that's right. Um, the cats scale from uh, chicken. They do more damage the more chickens you've gotten throughout the run. We want to stay in the space here. There's whip. That's fantastic. So we got a lot of crit weapons already. This is great. Look at the crits, guys. 50 damage crits on level 1 whip. It's wild stuff. Is the whip like the flash thing? Oh, no worries, man. Don't stress. Shit. We just need cross now, and I think we have all the crit weapons. No, axe. We need axe. More whip. Look at that! 60 damage crits with the knife! Yeah, so you, you pick an arcana and it stays with you for the entire run. Also, I just realized we have two musics going on. That's very confusing. There we go. Um, and uh, and the one we picked is crit. We'll probably get the yeah. I'll get extra crack cats. That's fine. <laughs> we want to get axe, and then we'll probably pick up the. Uh, Come on, hit together, cats. Probably pick up the revive one later, and then we can decide what our last one's going to be. It might be there's an insane projectile speed one that we might do just for kicks. Yeah. More cats. Make the cats hit together. Yeah, we gotta get the cats to run into each other so we can make a big uh, feisty feisty cat area. Okay, we need hollow heart. Oh, we didn't they didn't come together. Cats! Where are you cats? Come together. Yeah, cats. They're getting scratches out. The cat does nothing no no no, they come through and scratch. You can see little scratch marks as it comes through the uh, middle of the enemies. You see those little cat scratch marks? But when they run into each other, then they go into a fight ball and hit each other. Okay, more knives. Oh my gosh, you're all out. Get a turkey. So a normal crit for a knife and gun is twice, two times damage. And um... Pretty sure the cat does damage to you, does it? I was not aware that it did damage to me. 
The, well, the feisty cats don't, though. When they're fighting... Look, yeah. I can stand in this. It doesn't hurt me. But it hurts the enemies. But it hurts all the enemies. Cat! What if three cats hit each other? Oh, only when they scratch, not on fights. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, they're gonna release a mobile version. They said on probably iOS, but it's not official. Hey, we got Cross! So all we need now is to evolve our guns and then get axe and we've got a full crit build going what about with mana? we're not gonna get song of mana get in here get in here all you skeletons double cat fight <laughs> get cat tiragisu we'll get cat later we got to get all the things first so we're still missing um the cat. projectile speed we'll get later well, I'm sure they're gonna come, gonna come to Android as well, but they started with iOS for sure. No, the Akainas are not balanced at all. They're just fun. But honestly, Dex, like, the game isn't balanced. <laughs> the fact that characters like Red Death exist and that Leda exists, it's not balanced. They're hilarious. I do think that the game's difficulty needs to have more scaling options. Obviously, like, Toasty is really fun. But yeah, I totally agree. It's not balanced at all. And they're not balanced with each other either. I think that um, the crit is like completely different. Daddy, there's something really funny on the screen. That's true. I think the uh, okay. Awake is too powerful. I think it needs to give you one extra revive and not three, but keep the same secondary effect. I think would be better. And I think everything needs to be scaled up to match the level of uh, power of some of the Arcana. I like the crit one though. I think the crit one's great because crit isn't normally that impressive. And so I think uh, having ways to make crit a lot better is fine. The fire one I found really disappointing. Um, I would say this should be probably on par with the crit one, I think. Gun. Gun. Yeah, more guns. I love the cats, though. I think it's the most hilarious weapon. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Double cats. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, those cats. I mean, this is a problem that I have with a lot of games anyway, is that the longer that you play them, the easier they get because you get power-ups and unlock new things that make the game easier, which I find very strange. I typically like games to get harder as you play them. Daddy, there's a That's a chicken. It's not a turkey, though. It's a chicken. I will say that doing the toasty runs, as frustrating as they are, have been some of the most fun I've had in a long time. S-Man788. Thank you for the Twitch Prime subscription. Really appreciate that. Yeah, but even then, like, single single instances of damage is not like it's overpowered. We are, we already have Pentagram, which clears the screen. I, I, I don't know. I feel like it's not that impressive when, like, more than half the weapons don't crit. Asmon just couldn't get the win. Hey, more luck. Don't mind if I do. Why do you want luck? Uh, do we want to finish off with spinach? Let me think. So we need... We got cross. We got evolved whip. We're going to get projectile speed. Um, we're going to get axe because we got candle labrador. I think we're good. I think we can take spinach here. Oh, no. We need cooldown reduction. I think cooldown over, over spinach because we already have the crits with all of our weapons. He died twice at 29 minutes. It was 29.52. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I bet that was frustrating. All right, more knives. Get him. Oh, serious? I took six hours to make a level run with Toasty and no Laurel Clock with our kind I got in the first try. Okay. Well, that's what we'll try. I'm also thinking I'm probably gonna go... The problem is you can't go no Arcana. You can't really not go Arcana. 
because you're going to get them at the 11 minute and 21 minute chests. Yeah, sh we did, was Tome there? I didn't see any Tome yet. You're just saying that we'll need it? Yeah, I agree. We will need it. Just got an 88 damage crit with a cross. <laughs> yeah, but I can't skip the chests if I'm blindfolded. <laughs> I don't have a choice. If, I ha if I'm wearing a cone over my face, I don't get to decide what I pick. <laughs> That's true, I just picked the second thing on every level up. And Betty, what? One time there was a song man at the first one, you were on it, and then you went down. Oh my goodness, that's silly. You miss a lot of song of I do miss a lot of song of manas when I'm blindfolded, this is true. That cat's like an out of space! He's like not on the ground. We need we need are the cats maxed? The cats are maxed. Oh. Okay. We need more fighting cats. And then there's like a handful of, um, handful of like Arcana, which I feel like are not good. Like the projectile one is not good, I don't think. It's hilarious and it's funny, but I don't think it's very good. Probably the, you know what, it might be that the best positions for Arcana to sit in is side grades. Where they don't actually improve, they just trade power from one place to another. I think that would be a better spot for them. There's four. Like it's like your weapons can crit, Triple. but they also, um, I don't know. They're also more fragile. They break on the first enemy or something like that. And then like you have double healing. You have double healing, but you also take double damage or something like that. Well, I guess it doesn't really make sense, but. Or our con I don't know if it's for curse, but I think the idea would be like I think there should be trade-offs. Like it shouldn't be just pure, pure um, uh, upgrades. They should be side grades. Then it makes it more interesting. You're always having to make a choice of which trade-off do you want to make, and you could always just choose not to take an Arcana. I think that would be a much more interesting space to explore. Yeah, or like even like I would I would do like really weird stuff. Tome, tome. tome. Like I would love enemies have twice as much health, but there's half as much of them. I think that would be super cool. Things like that, or the vice versa. Enemies have half health, but they're twice as fast. Things that are not, like, automatically upgrades. Yeah, we'll keep going tones here. Were they randomized? I, I would love a random mode, for sure. Where it's like... Apart from just, like, the choices, there's more, there's a little bit more RNG in things. I know, there are cat fights everywhere. Your guns are hitting the candles? Challenge mother that just forces a pick on you and a weapon, you just get the weapon, yeah. And like I would love a mode where Um How to say this, like A mode where every time you level up you have to like, how to say this, it would be interesting if you had to like, you couldn't ever level up a weapon you had, you would replace, so like the first six weapons you get, they would fill their slots,
But then instead of leveling a weapon to level two, you had to swap out your existing weapon with a new weapon at level two. So you're constantly shifting weapons. And so like evolutions become a lot more complicated because you might end up swapping things out. And then you got the accessory you needed for that weapon, but then you had to trade that weapon out and now you can't evolve it. I think there's a lot of cool stuff you could do to make it more dynamic. Rather than just having an endless mode, for example. You're right, there is a chest. Is that, a, is that the 10 minute chest? Do we have anything that can evolve? We have nothing that can evolve right now. We need to either get... Uh... Also, I could have gotten the uh, projectiles a long time ago. Probably should have. I'm not really paying attention. <laughs> if you mod it, I will play it. If you build the mod, I would 100% do that. I think that'd be hilarious. We are constantly having to shift your build around. I'm not going to get the chest until I have something ready to evolve. There we go. I have something ready to evolve. Okay, big crits, guys. Big crits. What are those? Are those crits? Are those By the way, projectile speed's about to get insane. Brace yourself. Because we're going to also get the uh, projectile speed arcana for kicks and giggles. <clears throat> Oh wait, yeah, this is the Arcana. This is the Arcana. We're good. Oh, we don't get a pick. Oh yeah, we have Chaos in the Dark. That's perfect. Excellent. So, projectile speed's gonna go up and down over time. It's gonna be wild. Uh, cats, no. Cats have a normal rarity. They don't have a rare rarity. You'll see them all the time when you're playing other characters once you've unlocked them. By the way, the way you can know whether an item has a normal rarity or not is if it has an unlock associated with it. By the way, get ready for everything to go incredibly fast out of nowhere. Like right now. Look at the cats. Look how fast the cats are zooming across the screen. <laughs> now they're going to go super slow. Everything's going to slow way down for a minute. We got to get that projectile speed. And they're going to like, go like... Yeah, they're going <laughs> right now. Also, wait until we get uh, evolved uh, guns. It's a good time. We just need to get one more gun level and then we can get the evolved guns. They spin so fast. There we go. There's uh, guns evolved. There's so many fighting. I know, they're fighting all the time. Yeah, Labora zooms. It just like sticks on you and doesn't move. It's hilarious. Let's get uh, Clover for increased luck. Clover for increased luck. Clover for increased luck. Oh, I should have gotten the... Uh... But now we're getting tons of crits. Um, should have gotten the uh... whip there. That's okay. Empty Tome, maxed out. Does the speed change at a set rate? Uh, yeah, it goes from negative 50 to 200% in, um, in like a smooth pattern across 10 seconds. So now it's starting to slow down again. It's going to start going real slow. The cats are going slow, and then they're going to start speeding up again. Why did you get the clover? Because I want to have all the crits. Look how much damage our crits are doing right now. Crits are critical hits. Hello, Vaynard5. Welcome. Speed, speed plus crit is amazing. Okay, here we go. Here's where we're going to get guns. Guns are amazing. Are you ready for this? I don't know if you're ready for this. Evolved guns are hilarious with massive projectile speed. Okay, slow. And then they're going to get faster. Okay, axe. That's perfect. Axe also crits. Wait, why aren't they spinning? They should be spinning much faster. They are spinning. So they're spinning slowly. Normally they should be spinning much faster. I guess. Did something change or am I wrong? I, th I remember in the beta that they would spin like crazy when the projectile speed went super high. But right now they're not. 
Maybe I'm uh, misremembering. Yes. Ah, okay. It's based on their base speed. Anyway. They will spin faster, though, over time. Bracer. Axes. Whip. Axe. No, we're gonna need Candle Labrador last. Bracer. Bracer. Whip. Whip. Tiragisu. Grab another one of those beams there. And then we'll finally finish off with the full revives for the full uh, laser effect. Do we have something ready to evolve? Whip is ready to evolve. Knives ready to evolve. Look at the crits on the knives, guys. Daddy, there was some red gems. 140 damage knife hits. Daddy, there's some weird gems. Am I? Yeah, there's one. If you go to the other side, it's good. Oh, I got the big red gem. Axe crit is also amazing, by the way. And then if you go up, there is some more. Axe can crit for over 300 damage with uh, Pugnala. I saw some screenshots of it. It's pretty wild. Am I on a different version? I'm on the one that's live right now. It just went live a few minutes ago. Or not a few minutes ago, an hour or so ago. All right, here we go. Did close to 800 damage on Toasty. How did you get the damage that high with Toasty? Is it is it based on luck? Oh, I just got a 400 damage crit. Oh yeah, we should go grab Duration actually for the cats. Do we have anything? Oh yeah, we do. We have Whipped and Axe to evolve. Also, I think the cats do scale off of the, uh, oh my gosh, Axe just melted everything. Also, you can't even see the axes, they were moving so fast. Keep getting that chicken. We gotta, we gotta scale those cats. Hello, Silar. 089, welcome. Okay, now we got whip crits as well. Or actually, we already were having whip crits. Now we're gonna have uber whip crits. But yeah, the uh, when the projectile speed gets going. The axes go so fast you can't even see them. They just kill everything in sight. Um, I mean, it's not great chances, because the, the thing is, not only is the spinning thing doing lots of damage, it's critting for even more damage. When you're getting 200 damage crits from your lasers, it's a pretty good time. Yes? These are the ones I should think like you could start the people that start with these things. Okay. I don't have lightning ring right now, though. Is there any chance of getting hit? Oh, yeah, you already asked that. This is insane. Yeah, it is pretty insane. I know, but the lightning ring, I don't know if it's what he starts with. Oh, you want me to pick Porta? Well, there's Porta, the witch, you're doing right now, there's Papilla, or something. I don't know which one you have to touch with. Do you remember the name of the ghost? 
Toasty. What's going on with the witch and the cat? Uh, the witch has cats, and they do be feisty. I mean, the shrimps are still managing to kind of break through, but not really at a rate that's, like, very dangerous. Once we get the uh, three extra revives, we'll also get 30% extra damage on our uh, lasers, and then they'll start crushing. What does luck do for the cats? It increases the likelihood that you get floor chicken, which increases their damage. And they also make They scale based off of floor chickens picked up. I think it also includes floor chickens you get from... Leveling up too. Daddy, the cats are so angry. They are so angry. Money! Money! Because we haven't we can't get any more weapons. We're at maximum weapons here. Also our projectile speed keeps going up and up and up and up. It's currently at 168%. We're almost to the duration. Which character is this one? This is uh, Giovanni, or Giovanna? Giovanna, Giovanni? Anyway, um, you unlock her, I believe, by finding the coffin in the library. Coffin. Yeah, she's the, she's the new coffin character. Thank you, Junin Owabia, for the follow. Hope you enjoy the stream. And she starts with cats. And then cats become unlocked for everybody. It's a normal weapon, it's not a rare weapon. Also, what's the new cooldown of the uh, cart? Does anyone know? It got reduced, but I never playtested it. Gets a lot of floor chicken. Where's the library coffin? It's to the right. It's past the stone mask. It's on, I mean, it's on the map. If you have the map, you'll see it. It's not that far past the stone mask. Alright. Yeah, we're just melting these guys. Uh, goodbye, guardians. Let's grab the duration. Now the cats stay for even longer. Look how many cat fights there are. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It just barely got added today. Brand new patch went out today. This is the second Arcana. Oh no, second Arcana is coming in 40 seconds. Or third Arcana, I mean. And then we'll grab the revive so that we can have. Unlimited power. It is time to update, that's true. Okay, nine more seconds until we get the uh, new Arcana. And then things get off the rails. As even more so than now. Goodbye, sir. Arcana. And we're gonna grab Awake. Which is by far the strongest one. Awake is just nuts. This one really needs a nerf. Look how many lasers we have now. Thank you, Nakatani. For the follow. Hope you enjoy the stream. What would be interesting is like a similar... Yeah. <laughs> this is online. This is now released. It's officially in the in the um, live version of the game. 
You have to unlock the map by getting it from the dairy plant. Follow the arrow on the dairy plant to get the the galaxy. I think it's called the galaxy map or something like that. And that will that will unlock the map screen. Oh yeah, when, when world records are gonna get busted everywhere. These seem like the familiar waves. It doesn't? Because it moves too quickly or something? Yeah, because we're in the slow part. Once it gets to the fast part, you won't see him anymore. Pretty sure. Guns keep on spinning, spinning, spinning. Killing the enemies. Alright. Yeah, we're hitting massive 480 damage crits. I think that's the highest I've seen is 480, but we don't have spinach either. Why damage numbers on? I don't know, for fun. To show you how high these crits are. Just getting insane crits with our axes right now. They stay small. Interesting. When did you get them though? If you get Canda Labrador early, they uh, they won't get that big. If you get Candle Labrador late after you've already evolved it, you'll get much bigger um, Laboras. Oh, thank you. Elena's the big singer. She likes to sing a lot. Is the Candle Labrador bug still in? As far as I'm aware, it is. I don't think it's been fixed. At least it hasn't ever been mentioned in the patch notes. Yeah, there's a bug where if you get Candle Labrador early, you don't get as much increased area as you do if you get Candle Labrador after the weapon's fully evolved. I mean, it depends on the weapon. Some weapons don't get bigger, so it doesn't matter. The weapons that have increased area... Oh, interesting. Okay, well. That must have gotten fixed. Evil Manticore's being... Yeah, I mean, look at these cats, though. They are just... Crushing these guys. Are we sure the developers consider it a bug? I don't know. It's a bug because it doesn't seem like it makes sense, but it could be a feature. Hey, there's the uh, crab. Goodbye, crab. Big crab. We are just smashing this fool. There he goes. Money now. That's all we're gonna get from the chest now. They just can't. That is very true. I will say that um, <laughs> I feel like I feel like the developer took offense to some of the early criticisms of how plain the game looked, and then just decided to turn up all uh, particle effects to eleven. <laughs> just like every weapon from here on out is going to have rainbows and sparkles and flashes of light and tufts of smoke teach those jerks who told me that my game wasn't filled with solid modern animations. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
show them what a real animation looks like. Man, the cats are just ripping these robots apart. Also, look out. We're, we're at, like... Won't argue with rainbows and sparkles. We're, like, almost disco ball level uh, spin speed right now. But, Daddy... What? If you get a triple one, don't skip it, because I can get a five one. I don't understand the logic, but it's true I could get a five one. We just didn't understand their vision. <laughs> My computer is running low on storage space. Hold on a second, guys. I've got to delete some videos. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Boom. Don't delete the one where you got to 100 with Toasty. There we go. Should be good now. Now we have some space. You thought it was yours? <laughs> Shapes and colors. It does drop the dopamine hit for sure. Oh yeah, it's... it's... It's chaos. Pure chaos at this point. Daddy? Yes? Did you do it you got nope, I kept that one. Oh, well, I've already posted that one on YouTube. Well, I delete it because I don't need it on my computer once I've posted it to YouTube. We do be spinning, guys. The cats benefit from... I think it's... I think it's from both. I don't know how much they benefit, though. I don't know how many chickens you need to, like, really get value out of them. And I don't know if it caps, like, uh, Soul Eater. Or Soul Eater does have a cap. Oh, by the way, uh, I'm about 99% certain that after this stream, uh, we'll qualify for partner. I was at 75 average yesterday after yesterday's big stream. And so, as long as we can maintain above 75 today's stream, we should get there. Gonna give you the tool set 5,000 effects on screen, yeah. Casually deleting videos. Well, I mean, I always can pull the VODs from Twitch if I need. But we'll see. I mean, we were right there. I was literally at 75 uh, after last night. You can't tell after your YouTube stream, though. <laughs> I didn't have the button, though. It showed 75, which makes me think it was rounding up. Like it was like 74.8 or something like that. And because it wasn't officially 75, it didn't show the button yet. But I'm I'm hoping that after today's stream we'll get it, and uh, and then we can officially apply, which would be sick. I will do a Kono Shame run. The problem right now is the Kono Shame might be too easy with Arcana. Thank you, Great Dango, for the follow. Appreciate that. All right, we're into the last minute here. I guess that's the question. Do we do Cone of Shame? We finally get some Planet Crafters? Yes. After we've hit Partner, I'll start streaming a whole bunch of different stuff that I've been kind of putting on the back burner while I've been trying to grind for Partner. We'll still we'll still primarily do Vampire Survivors as long as they keep pumping out updates. But, uh... Do Cone of Shame on Dairy Plant? I mean, honestly, we might even be able to with the Arcana. Be just because the, uh... The Awake is so good. But maybe we do it anyway, just to see. Because with, with Awake, I'd have three extra revives. Arcana is out. It's officially out. 
We're gonna go through the bubbles, guys. Bubble journey ahead. Yeah, but the thing is, now those deaths. Look at my look at my stats. I have three more revives. My might goes up. My area goes up. My speed goes up. Duration goes up by five percent every time I die, and my max health increases. So watch. All of those things increase every time I revive. I think the Arcana need to be side grades. I think there needs to be consequences for picking them. But otherwise, I like them. I think they're interesting. Yeah, right now we're at 587 max health. 55% might, 90% area, extra speed, extra duration. It's just too much. There we go, 1700 coins because we picked awake. Boom. Nine armor as well, that's true, also the extra armor. So I think it just becomes too easy is my only concern.